Canada decided as a country that we wanted to be the best place in the world for innovative manufacturing? What if we set that as a strategy, as a vision for the future? What would we have to do to put in, what do we need to put in place to make that a reality? And in some things, I think we're already there. Today, we are talking about uh, manufacturing in Canada and um, the, uh, the search that Canadian manufacturers are always on uh, to find competitive advantage. Clearly, we can be competitive. I mean, if I look at our Canadian facilities, we've won a billion dollars worth of work, that's a billion dollars per year of sales in the last 18 months. I can be competitive, but I need a competitive environment to operate in as well, <coughs> right? So there's a lot of things that we need to, to do to achieve that. I personally think that uh, what we see in the, in the market and what's going on globally, so there is a tremendous change now in technology, but also uh, impacting the uh, manufacturing landscape globally. And uh, there is, uh, on a positive way, a, a window that has opened for Canadian manufacturing to reinvent itself, to reposition itself, and also gain the strengths uh, we uh, enjoyed in the past that we still have. So and now really build on that and bring it to the next level. Customers, for example, demand faster time to market, new products, faster uh, developments of innovation. Product innovation, but also importantly process innovation. So not just the products, but how you make them, right? So that you're, you're staying a, a step ahead in terms of efficiencies and repeatability and, and quality and obviously cost. So that's on one hand, it's the innovation cycle, then the manufacturing cycle, and then how do we handle all the information from the market, from the customers, but also from the production cycle. And we believe competitiveness drives out of two things, something that Robert already talked about, uh, innovation, right? Innovation <coughs> in terms of the products that we're designing that are helping to address industry issues, consumer issues, the issues of our customers and their customers, to Robert's point, so looking beyond we have to collaborate, we have to collaborate with uh, uh, our customers, customers with us, uh, sometimes even with our competitors to develop new uh, technologies. So we have to collaborate with government entities on all levels, federal, provincial, even uh, municipal. And we have to collaborate uh, with universities and colleges on the skills and also on the innovation part. And of course we also have to collaborate with business associations uh, like CME. What can we do to make our manufacturing leaders in the smaller companies a little more ambitious? Certainly when it comes to educational institutions, we can be trying to teach people about what it means to be an entrepreneur, which is taking some risks, right? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take.